When building a Shopify store, you're going to want to add different menus so that your customers can easily navigate your online store and find the products they're looking for. In this Shopify tutorial, we'll show you how to create a drop-down menu. Drop-down menus are great for listing out different collections or simply organizing different sections of your site into one easy-to-use list of links. This is a paint store we built that already features several drop-down menus like Shop by Room and Shop by Color. In our Shopify admin, we're going to add a brand new drop-down menu. Under Online Store in the left-hand menu, click on Navigation. This will show you your current menus. We have a few footer menus we created and then our main menu. If you're building a menu from scratch, you can click on Add Menu in the top right. In this example, we're going to add a drop-down menu to our already existing main menu. We'll go ahead and click on Main Menu. As you can see, we have the different links and drop-downs as seen on our website. If I expand one of our drop-down menus, there are many links found within the one drop-down. Let's go ahead and add our new drop-down menu. To do this, we're going to click on Add Menu Item. Next, we'll give the drop-down menu a name. This will be the title found at the top of our drop-down menu. We're going to call it Quick Links. If you want this to be clickable and take a user to a specific page, you can choose from a list of links here. However, in many cases, you may not want to add a link as it simply serves as a title. To do this, we can add the number sign or hash sign. When you add the number sign, the link doesn't actually go anywhere. For example, we did this for our Shop by Color drop-down menu. If we click on Shop by Color, nothing happens. Only the links found within the drop-down itself are clickable. Now that we've added our title, we will click on the Add button in the bottom right. To add the first link under our drop-down, we will click on Add Menu Item again. We will add a link to the home page by clicking inside the search field and selecting Home Page. From there, we'll edit the name slightly and change it to Home. Then, we'll click on Add. So far, we've created two separate menu items. To place Home under Quick Links, we will simply drag it up and to the right, and then drop it into place. From there, we can add even more items to our drop-down menu. This time, we'll click on Add Menu Item to Quick Links. In this case, we will add a link to a collection called Painting Tools and then click on the Add button. Next, we'll add a page from our Shopify store to our drop-down. We can search for a page and then select it once it shows up. Again, we'll hit Add in the bottom right. I'm sure you get the idea, but we'll add one more item to our drop-down menu, and that's a specific URL. Let's say you'd like to add a link to your Instagram account. We can grab the URL and paste it here. We'll hit Add and then Save Menu in the bottom right. Before I show you what it looks like on our Shopify store, keep in mind that you can rearrange the order of your items by dragging and dropping them. You can even create a multi-level drop-down menu. We'll put Instagram under Contact Us. I'll add Facebook and YouTube links as well. I'm hoping this will give you a better idea as to what you can do with a drop-down. You can also delete items if you need to. Now that we're ready, we'll save it one last time. Let's have a look at our drop-down menu over on our Shopify store. As you can see, Quick Links has been added to our main menu. Under Quick Links, we have the home link we added followed by Contact Us. When we hover over Contact Us, we can see the social media URLs. Then, at the bottom of the drop-down, we have the Painting Tools collection. You now know how to create a drop-down menu in Shopify. For more Shopify tutorials, subscribe to the eStore Kings YouTube channel. We also have an email newsletter where we share free e-commerce and marketing resources. Be sure to check it out.